that's going on right now. I really do. I like literally cannot sleep at night. You're my family. I know. I don't ever want anything to ever come between us. So I want you to know that I love you and appreciate you, bitch. You're gonna make me cry. No, I love you so much, Danielle. You're my cousin. My name is Charmaine. I am the manager at Nightmag. What's your name? Steak Taco. Hey, Steak Taco. When I walk into a room, people will feel my presence. Right here, Fred, my eyes right here. I'm from New Orleans. I am the party girl. She is just a bottle of fun just waiting to explode. Charmaine is one of the most obnoxious people that I know. I don't like obnoxious people. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan takes every opportunity that he can get to go ham. Like, I am the joke for him. So you don't know uh, yes. nothing about what the you talking about? Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> you don't? Well, oh, okay. You know, I feel like she need to play her professional role. <laughs> Just like, damn, shut the up. I ain't trying to hear it. Do me and Danielle look alike? This is my cousin. Danielle is my cousin. We didn't grow up together, but Danielle is my best friend. I literally, like, cannot go a second without Danielle around me. All the girls to the floor. I am Danielle, and I'm the receptionist at Night Mac. Hi, this is Night Mac. How can I help you? Danielle is definitely a good face to see when you walk into Night Mac. You feel like, okay, what's next? <laughs> it doesn't hurt that I'm cute. Danielle is very busty, but she has a flat ass. <laughs> I don't tell I said that. Honestly, Charmaine is all about the turn up. I love being the center of the party. Charmaine is booty me. <laughs> booty me. <laughs> all right, guys, circle of death. Who's ready? I'm about to whoop all y'all ass and drink the most liquor. You gonna do that anyway. <laughs> and be the most drunk. During the day at Nine Mag, it's all about business. You know, come to nighttime, we need to relax and we need to party. <laughs> hey, man, you gotta fly. Okay, who is off? Uh, Charmaine, <laughs> this is how you guys play. Pick a card and I'll tell you what it means. What? Oh, look who's so Hook up the other night, I just know I put it on Don because he has this glow on him and it just got me so giddy. Feels like this is my man, I'm his girl, and you know, we're kind of on the same page. I definitely want to take my relationship to the next level with Don. Hey, who got some music, man? I'm trying to see Charmaine twerk, man. She got the best twerk. You ain't supposed to tell everybody. You from New Orleans, right? Yes, you heard. Let's see where you at. No one twerks better than me. If Don thinks our little bathroom session was fun, wait till he see that thing go in a circle. Charmaine is a nice twerker. She's just gonna twerk it until, until somebody bites. I'm not a bitch. My name's Charmaine. Thank you. What? Thank you. Who the is that? What? That bitch is crazy. Uh -huh. You tell me that you coming to work and this is what you do? You let me knock your ass out. Don't bring your ass home, Don. Why would you be dancing on her like that? You hurt? Are you hurt? Don't you sleep with me every night? I was caught red handed, on booty, hands on ass. Yes, I was wrong, but couldn't control myself. That ass is in the air. Are you okay? Honestly, I'm not worried about her. That's good, because I would have been like, oh. <laughs> no, talk about, talk about, is she, are you that bitch? Are you that bitch? I'm like, bitch, my name 
name is Charmaine. Excuse me, can I can I talk to you, please? What's up, girl? What's your name? My name is Ashley. I'm Don's girlfriend. Hi. His, oh, girlfriend. The mother of his son. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I thought you were just his baby mother. No, I'm his girlfriend. Okay, I didn't know y'all were still dating. Yeah, we are. Okay, cool. And we're still too. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's real funny, because I just got done girl. Yo, man. Mm. I definitely don't like people calling me a bitch, girl. My name is Charmaine. But when it's never... about my man, I call bitches, hoes, whatever. I get okay. you, but I would never call All you right, a bitch. Like, you're putting on a show for everyone. Can I... I'm not putting on a show, girl. Why are you not... yelling? I'm... I'm... Can I talk to you? Why are you yelling? Look, can go anyway, well, what, what is up with you and my man? You ask him, girl. Sure. What you mean? Ask him. Ask him what? What are you all doing? Girl, excuse me. Are you done? Hey, you ask Don's baby mama comes in, just ready to attack. She was ready to smack a bitch upside their head. Jermaine, Jermaine, first of all, first of all. Girl, look, I ain't got to do nothing no, to no, this girl. Don't entertain that. You flick your hair, you roll your bitch, eyes. she's the one turning up. The is this the baby mother that you told me that is crazy and you don't have anything to deal with her? Because it looks like that y'all have a lot of dealings. Girl, guess who the was texting me last night? Who? Don, y'all. Don was texting me all kind of freaky like, What did he say? Oh, too much. Wait, let me read it, let me read it. Had me reminiscing, shaking my head. He said that. He said that. So then you go, LOL, don't look at me like this. Um, it's your fault. What do you mean? You broke it off with me, remember? Yeah, I remember. And then you said, LOL, we will talk about it, I promise. He's like, well, I'm interested in knowing it. It always bothered me. Let's talk ASAP and solo so you can let it all out. You said, sounds good to me. It's one thing if you hit me up, but what makes it disgusting is these memes that he sends me, y'all. <laughs> Disgusting! How disrespectful! Actually, he sent her. Look at these. Look at these images. Sexually frustrated. Girl, you didn't like see these. Give me those, Katrina. It ain't like y'all ain't been there before. I get that, but I, I want to be treated as a lady, and that's why I'm not okay. with him. Don's coming to me like, I want to be with you. You're telling me all this, but whole time you have a whole baby mom at home that you are still dealing with. So that's where it's a problem. Don and I. I totally felt like we were hanging out with with the crew. We totally had chemistry, well, but further than no, that, no, are you guys little listening little to me? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. The beginning of our relationship, I felt like, you know, Don and I had a lot of chemistry, and good? then we went from having a lot of chemistry yeah. to having sex. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I was just waiting for the, the pause. Please, please. Okay, we're listening, Charmaine. Um, no, I, went, I felt like we had a lot of chemistry, which un unfortunately, caused us to have sex kind of early on a drunk night. You know what I mean? <laughs> you guys aren't even listening. We are listening. I'm over you. I had assumed that you guys had the straight up talk where you're like, hey, what's going on with your baby mama? Are you together? Are you not? He made it seem like that they weren't together. Are you trying crazy? to be with Don? No, not at this point, no. Uh, right. <laughs> if she goes there again, it's like, who are you kidding? That's not cool. Like, if Don was completely single, completely single. If Don single, was completely single, single, his would need to be a little bit bigger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that's the problem. It was good the first time, y'all. He good, all that. I just feel like, you know, later maybe, I'm gonna talk to him. Don't have yeah, a conversation right. tonight. That's too much. Like, we're trying to have fun, turn up. Have the conversation at a later date. What's gonna annoy me is if Don tries, tries to, to be push up real. on me. Then I'm gonna be like, no, dude, we need to talk. Don't get me wrong, I'm a fun girl. We can have fun, you know? I'll be your when it's time to be your but only if you exclusively my Cheers. Like nothing. Up, down, all around. Cheers. Come on, baby, let's work. Ooh, work. Was that a cheer? Yeah, it was. Ooh. I actually did that in high school. Up, let's try that again. Down, all around. <laughs> Come on, baby, <laughs> let's work. Work! <laughs> <laughs> I know when Charmaine is drunk. And bitch, you drunk. I've been dealing with so much with Ashley. This is one of the nights where you just, everything that you've been dealing with, you just kind of wanted to roll off of you for a little bit, even if it was just for a couple of hours. So I see Charmaine dancing over there, so I'm like, man, say why not? 
we just had this talk and you're the main one saying, I'm not trying to be messy. I'm not trying to deal with him and his baby mama drama. You're backing that thing up and you dipping it high and low real slow and this could only go one way badly. Charmaine and Don's situation, that's a little messy. We gotta nip this bud. Charmaine, it's not me just trying to come at you. I genuinely am having your back. You don't understand. I do. You no. don't understand. No, girl, I do understand. What but you don't understand is that I do understand. What's frustrating for me, though, Charmaine, is you tell me before these nights occur to check you. You're like, slap me. Punch me in the face if I need to no, be punched. No, only if I'm okay, drunk, okay. which I'm not. And right now, you're not, right? No, I'm okay. not. What you doing? Nothing, just... Yeah, <laughs> I want to talk to you. I can't really talk in here because the guys aren't even tattooing. Okay. You're scaring me. Is this serious? Mm -hmm. It's not. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ever since New York, Danielle and I really need to talk. There was some going on, some serious. But I haven't told her the whole story because I don't want her to judge me. Girl, I can't even deal. You're with... pregnant. No, girl. Bitch, please. That's a miracle. <laughs> girl, you're gonna freak. Out. So we had a good time in New York, but I have to tell you, when we got back from the club that night, me and Don decided, like, we're gonna go look for Van. So he's like, yo, I gotta go use the bathroom, like, come with me to my room. So I obviously just go with him, because I didn't want to make it, like, weird. Right. He goes, use the bathroom, girl. He comes out. I'm sitting on the bed. Girl, he comes and, like, straddles me and pins me down on the bed. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. And he tries to kiss me, girl. <laughs> what? Yes. What was your reaction when he did that? Girl, I straight up did the Heisman on the hoe. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, baby, with two hands, not a Right. Time. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> but yeah, girl, ever since then, he's been blowing up my line. I have texts from Don trying to <laughs> Showing you is better than even telling you, girl. Look, I kind of hate not waking up to your text. I said, we're better as friends, honestly. Mm -hmm. Okay, bae. Sad face. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just not cool. I'm surprised that Don is texting Charmaine only because he tries to come off like, it's me and Ashley, it's our family, I'm done with that bull Then on the other hand, you hitting her up for some, you know, late night hours Stop doing that back and forth When me and Don were rocking with each other, it was really cool. Like, there were, I remember, I'll never forget this one night in particular. See, you can't be reminiscing of <laughs> the damn problem, bitch. It's hard to move on from Don because he's the first guy that I've been into in a really long time. At the end of the day, I know what kind of man he really is, and that's a dog. This is exactly why you need a date, because right. we right. can't be talking about that. Like, you're too good of a woman to even have to deal with this Danielle's totally right. I need to get over it and move on and feel, like, in love again. Are you gonna go on the date with me, too? Maybe. Uh, whatever. In the background with my binoculars. <laughs> All right, so I have something to tell you. What? And that's why I feel like I've been sipping on my alcohol. Can I have a little bit of yours? The funny thing is, you didn't notice, but I totally switched our cup. I finished mine and switched them with yours. Okay, so I need you to give me my cup back, first of all. Thank you. But what, bitch? What do you have to tell me? Because I don't okay. like the way you set the up. Um, I didn't tell you that I kissed Ryan. The other night, Ryan and I were hanging out, watching a f Disney movie. We were both drunk. Before I know it, Ryan and I are making out. We definitely kiss, you know, adult makeout scene, whatever you want to have it, but that's where it ended. Was it, like, exciting? Did you get a little moist? To be completely <laughs> honest, we were f up. I really don't remember. Ryan is such a hypocrite. He always gives me f about what happened with Don and I, but look at him macking on my cousin. So calm down, it's not that deep, okay? But okay. the problem is, it is- Girl, you didn't 
tell Terrence. He doesn't know. No. Terrence is my high school sweetheart. We've been dating off and on for over eight years. The last time we broke up was because Terrence wasn't ready to actually commit. Now we're not together. But our actions are still very much couple-like. At the end of the day, I love him. I want to see where it could lead. So where do you and Terrence stand right now? We have our bull don't get me wrong, and there's still, there's still a grocery list of things that I have issues with. And I'm sure if you were to ask him, he would say the same. But like, they're minute things. Exactly. Ryan is obviously a very attractive guy, and I think we just have a natural chemistry, but I love Terrence. I've been completely loyal, even though we weren't dating. In fact, since high school, he is the only person that I've been with. Wait, girl, are you gonna tell him? I mean, I don't even think you should tell him. Uh, I kinda have to tell him. Even though I didn't cheat on him, I feel like moving forward, I would just feel better if I acknowledged it. If it was me, and if I'm single, and we're not together, then I'm gonna do me. It's none of your business, because you're not my boyfriend. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You haven't been here in a really long time, but do you ever see you and dad like coming back up here? Oh, no, definitely not. No, no, no. The weather, <laughs> no, you nah. never see me in Chicago. I miss my mom so much. I'm so happy that she's here. She's from Chicago. She moved to Louisiana when she went to high school, and I highly doubt she is coming back because she does not play with the Chicago winter. Hey, cousin! Hey. Oh, you look beautiful. Thank you. It's really good to see my mom and Glenda together. You know, they're cousins, and they used to hang out all the time when they were younger. So the fact that me and Charmaine are cousins, and now we hang out all the time, it's just good to be with the family. I heard that y'all was, like, <laughs> joined at the hip like me and Danielle are. She called you when you were giving birth or... Oh, yeah. Charmaine, right? I had just had Charmaine. And you called me to see what it was all about. <laughs> Danielle was doing. Flex. It's amazing how the two of you hooked up. It is. Danielle, you know, we've known of each other our entire lives, but we'd never met. I didn't know what she looked like. So when I moved to Chicago, we had a mutual cousin that kept saying, like, Charmaine, have you, you know, reached out to Danielle? From there, we just started texting, and then we start hanging out, and now she's like, my Soulmate. It just shows you how small a world this really it is. And how God orchestrates. Okay, all that's well and good, but you gotta <laughs> feed us some gossip. Don't we wanna know the real deal, <laughs> Verna? <laughs> so basically, I told you about Don, you know, he has a baby mom. Matter of fact, he with his baby mom. And he's still trying to text me and hook up with me. But he's, he's good. perpetrating. I cannot tell you how bored I am hearing about Don. It's time to meet other guys. There are plenty of fish in the sea. This is exactly why you need a date, because right. we right. can't be talking about that. You deserve someone way better anyway. You need to put yourself out there, like, start dating people. Like, you're too good of a woman to even have to deal with this bull you know? Girl. This is always so Exactly, you like, girl. Next, let's turn the page. <laughs> Well, um, Danielle, since you know the ABCs, tell me about your guy. Aaron. Oh, my God. Let me tell y'all, Danielle loves this boy. I have dated him since high school, but he's not trying to necessarily wife me. Now, here we are, years later, I kind of have resentment in my heart, to be honest. I like Terrence, but she has to make the final decision. I'm not trying to sway her either way. Terrence is frustrating because he's all talk and no actions, and it's starting to make me realize that I shouldn't be waiting around for him and that I should explore other options. Her happiness is what's most important to me. Yeah. And where was y'all coming from? No, we was upstairs. Yeah. Okay, how's that? It's great, girl. Yeah, it's nice. I saw it. It's mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Thank you. You're welcome. What are you looking like that for? What's up, boys? How y'all doing? Hey, why are you acting all slow motion? Y'all work today? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. With everything going on, I ain't really had no time to talk to everybody about this friend situation. So I'm calling this meeting because I really got some stuff to say to him. So what's the meeting what's about? We done ran this whole business with us being a family. But it's like, you know what? Literally, since Van been gone, 
it ain't been what it's supposed to be. Case in point, has the rent been paid? First of all, it's never been clear on what we needed to be paid. Come on with that bullshit, man. As the family that we were, when Van leaves, do we pick up the slack? Ryan. I'm talking to you and you. Yeah, we pick Ryan, up the slack. Seriously. I'm asking, I'm asking. We no, pick up the slack. We... That means Van's rent by himself gets split into three, did it not? I know it was never addressed to me. Nothing so, was that, ever addressed that, to anybody. That's the that, problem. Man, Don't just expect that I owe you some without telling me. That right there is just saying that you don't care about when the rent is due here. And as I step back and look at it, I feel like I was too nice, too lenient. Now this is the result of it. What did you think it was? We just up in here working, making money, and the rent just gonna get paid somehow. I, I knew I had to pay something. I just didn't know when you took care of me. All I was saying was, just let me know. I didn't ever get the word. Okay, you, didn't I, you knew it. How do I have to say it when you know it? What, look, whatever I need to contribute, oh, I get that. I get it to you personally. I'm gonna take full responsibility and pick up my pieces because I'm still not mag at the end of the day. But, bro, no one ever stepped up and said, hey, yo, okay, this is what's gonna happen. If I'm a boss and my employees owe me anything, I'm gonna tell them that. I don't, I don't, I don't care about what you're doing as a boss. Ryan, you need to take a business class. If I have to pay something every single month, then that needs to be written, and I need to sign. Be a boss. Ryan, you don't know how to communicate. Own up to that. Don't act like you're just some dictator. Katrina's just being so disrespectful, and it's not cool. Nobody said anything. Everybody said Ryan you. I'm Ryan, relax. I'm talking to Ryan. You need to chill out. I know you're playing Charmaine. Sure, Seriously, what the f are you kidding me? Are you here working? No, I am. Miss, when did you take this job so seriously? Are you kidding me? What have you done for nine minutes? Yeah, you're funny as <laughs> I'm the one that keeps this place running, right. period, because you're not. You're here I'm because you were done. Let's be real. Are you? OK, real. girl, stop. No, seriously, no, let's now be real. You're... Come to think of it, Ryan and Charmaine have become a little buddy-buddy recently. That's a little strange, right? Like, the only way that I can make sense out of it is if she is Ryan's You know, some can make you quit your corporate-ass job to be at the tattoo shop to sweep floors and OK, Ryan, so what do we owe you? Tell us what we owe you, boss. You don't owe me right. We're going to talk about what we got to go on. You can go pay your rent upstairs, do what you got to do, and don't nothing else got to be discussed about what's going on down here. You talk all like I owe you some you. I don't have to Get your out of there so I can put somebody else in there and make money. It's not my I'm going on you Seriously, bro. Exactly. else you get coming in here can have that. I got 100 people waiting. I was holding it for my family. Stop playing like that, man. Can you stop? I'm talking to you how no, you need to be talking because you don't understand it. You I don't did. understand. No, I you don't. Understand. Katrina obviously thinks she's too good to pay rent at NIMAG. You got all new equipment upstairs, so you don't give a fuck about this equipment, right? Because I don't give a fuck either. I'm about to go snatch that bitch's wig off if she's with any of my shit. Might as well just come on and get your go upstairs. Are you go the wait, wait. Seriously. I'm here for a business conversation, and now you're taking it super personal. She came and put her hands on me, and I'm supposed to be your friend. <laughs> you. You're a snake, oh, bitch, that's, that's, and I'm gonna be her ass. Yes, yes. So whether it be right now how? or later, bitch, how? I'm gonna beat your how? ass. Seriously, y'all know you don't want it with me, bitch. No, no, no. Bitch, you can't say till you start paying rent this bitch. This is a place of business. It ain't even no reason for nobody to be fighting. Let's go. Bye. You're playing right into it. Bye, see you later. Everybody can leave if they're gonna do that. Looks like we need to find a new artist and a new receptionist at this point. Charmaine took it way too far. Throw my to impress your boss? Who's paying you, what, $6 an hour to sweep the mother floor? Charmaine is on a high horse. Like, seriously, and the way that she just crossed, Charmaine's gonna go who, whoever she thinks is on. Bitch, you're my best friend. Now you just flip all of a sudden? Like, bitch, you got me up. I don't trust Charmaine. I tell her that straight to her face. Like, bitch, I don't trust you. Because like that. The and Ryan is acting an ass. All this is bull. I'm not down for the disrespect for your overrated janitor. Y'all, it's some adult. Stop playing that kid. You act like you got a problem it's because she said something to you slick that, that pierce about you. Come on, man. I definitely got a problem. Chill. I'm glad Charmaine finally stepping up at the shop and taking her position seriously. You know what I'm saying? But I don't need her fighting my battles for me. She threw the first dig and then put her hand on me first. So Only I just want to throw that no, out listen, there. Listen, that was uncalled for, man, straight up. She told me the reason why I work here is because I f***ing died. Are well, you f***ing? Y'all need to read. Y'all need to read. 
You shouldn't have catch no feeling in that if you know that ain't the truth. At the end of the day, we showing disrespect, so I'm gonna disrespect you too. You don't, you don't want your the next bitch can have it? Well, guess what? Bitch, I'm throwing it out. She got me up, Ryan, she got you up. At the That's end cool. of the day. She can have me up, but my business gonna go on. Yeah. When Katrina walked in, I mean, it is what it is. I expected her to be there, but you know, I'm like, mm. Mm. it's kind of awkward coming to a party at Nine Mag when I'm not with none of Nine Mag, and it's uncomfortable being around Charmaine. But Danielle's my girl. I'm gonna come here for your birthday party, whether you want to have it in heaven or in hell. Charmaine needs to sit the f down. Oh, Happy birthday, God. bitch. I hate the f that's going on right now. I really do. I like literally cannot sleep at night. Yeah. You're my f family. I know. I, I don't ever want anything to ever come between us. So I want you to know that, that I love you and appreciate you, bitch. You're gonna make me cry. No, I love you so much, Danielle. You're my cousin. The fact that she could put all that bull to the side and be there for me on my day and squash any tension that we had, that means a lot. This honestly means so much to me, and I'm so glad that you and I are in a better place now. I just really wish we could all be on the same page. You know what I'm saying? Like, us three, honestly, the last time I saw Katrina, she put hands on me. I can't deal. Screaming and yelling is one thing, but there were literally cat claws around my jugular. And not once, but twice. She could have strangled me. How do I just forgive and forget that? Hey, yo, 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 yo. Hey, yo, make way for oh, in your cake, man. Okay. Oh, hey. 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 It definitely feels great that Katrina and Charmaine, no matter how many fights that they've gotten into, could recognize it's Danielle's birthday and let's be there for her. Like, granted, these bitches were on opposite sides of the room, but, you know, as long as you know you're here for me. Oh, my head is pounding. I don't even know if I could face my dad today. Danielle, Ryan, and I are about to go to my family's annual crawfish boil. We're <laughs> home, y'all. This is my crib. I knew it was a reason why you was bougie. Shut up. <laughs> I'm so glad that they came to support me this year because I have a bomb to drop. The little girl that my parents raised to be financially successful is broke as I hope they're excited to see me. Hello? <laughs> I'm the only child, and my parents are my best friends. No one loves me like them. Sing Aunt Glenda. I don't get to see this side of the family enough. I'm just super excited. Welcome to the South, baby. I'm so glad to see you, guys. Y'all look like Antoine Fisher walking in here, boy. I'm looking at Charmaine right now, and she's loving her family. And I'm just thinking, they're not going to be too happy with you after you tell them why we're here, babe. <laughs> look at this. You ain't got no neighbors. My daddy work hard. He ain't want no neighbors. Charmaine ass is a Cosby. Man, you is the rich girl. Right. Ooh, y'all got the crawfish <laughs> and the crabs. You want to put your thumb on the body and rip the whole head off. This is the butt. No, it's the head. Right. So now you want to bite down and suck it. Oh my gosh. So good, right? I cracked that sucker open and I sucked the head out. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I had to wear my adult clothes for daddy, so I'm extremely clothed oh, right now. Oh, great. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. I ain't never seen it with this many clothes on. Do all this dressing for daddy, but be wildin' the out back in Chicago. Don't you look like your mama? You look like that I boy. know, I look just like him. <laughs> when I look in the mirror, I see him. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a beautiful house you got here, man. Thank you for letting me come down. No. Thank you so much for coming down oh, to meet us, man. man. I appreciate it. 
glad you guys finally got to me. Uh, now you see my boss. This girl do no real work because I worked the hell out of her. And I'm so proud that she is able to take care of herself. Gonna get thick. But if her pops think that she financially responsible, he got another thing coming. Love you, Daddy. Love you, too. <laughs> All right, let's go eat. Come on. Thank you so much, Ryan, because I really needed you here. Are you all right? My daddy's in a really good mood. Yes. Thank you so much for cooking all this stuff. You got to bring your mama them down. I know. Yeah. How do you feel about meeting Ryan? He about all y'all, yeah. not just himself. And he's super supportive. Like, I'm sure you talking to him made you feel that much more better about the situation. I would be so terrified if I had to tell my dad, like, my car got repossessed. I didn't know all that. She never mentioned that? Aw, uh. oh, What did I just say? I thought that's what you guys were out here talking about. You, her, and Ryan? I didn't know Charmaine was going through any kind of financial difficulties or anything. Maybe I should go get her, or you want to? I'm pissed. That's all I can tell you. Charmaine is going to kill me. Absolutely going to kill me. And holy f we just came all the way down here to New Orleans so Charmaine could tell her parents about her financial situation, and I'm the bitch that just spilled the beans. Didn't repossess her car and everything? Yeah, she got to that point. Don't ask me, man. Came down here to talk to you, bro. <laughs> What's going on? What'd she tell you? Charmaine ain't told me it's up. Hey, Charmaine. Hey. Hey, Mom. Why everybody looking at me? You didn't tell me nothing about your financial situation. I basically spilled the beans on accident. What do you mean you accidentally spilled the beans? I'm supposed to tell them what's going on with me. Don't look at me like that, Daddy. Don't look at you like that. I mean, how are we getting to this point? You know, I was short on money, had to pay rent or my card. It's something that I didn't ever want to come to you and mom about. Cause wow. And I feel like this is so unconventional. I didn't even want to bring up. You already knew what you're doing is unconventional. But then you can't even pay your own bills? I was going through a lot, you know what I'm saying? But Sherman, you know you've come to me and talked to me about any and everything, and you never shared that with me. I don't want to lie to you guys. You know, I don't want to mislead you. But you guys have no idea what I was going through. No. And now you're sitting here disappointed in me because I don't want to be a burden for you. Like, I'm trying to be an adult about it the best way possible. Coming down here was a completely terrible idea. My parents just aren't understanding. I don't want their life. Well, you know what my suggestion is? Move your ass back home. So the, is, it, is it about it just being a tattoo shop or that she ain't working in corporate America? I've seen people die in that. That's, you know what I mean? hey, I'm saying. is valuable to what she brings to the shop, and she also happy in what she's doing. I went from working behind a desk, slaving for someone that I've never even met before, to running an entire tattoo shop for someone that is here for me when I need them. I promise you. I'm gonna fix this. I'm in corporate America right now. 36 years and it's killing me. I wanna love what I do, I don't wanna slave. Charmaine, we are your parents. We should always know if you're in trouble or if you need something. But no matter what, Charmaine, I love you. You're my daughter, you always will be and I support you 100%. Thanks, Dad. Knowing that my dad supports my decisions means everything to me. And even if he doesn't always agree with me, he always has my back. As soon as I get back to Chicago, I'm going to put my Howard University cap on and get to hustling, boo. Love you so much. OK, love you. Yeah. Looking so good tonight. Thank you. I'm trying to, mm. I'm trying to do. Eat. <laughs> <laughs>
My boyfriend, Nick, and I, we actually knew each other in college, but we reconnected about six months ago. Sparks flew, and it went down that night. I need to do something to burn some of this energy. <laughs> My baby, Nick, is an entrepreneur, OK? He is a tech genius. I don't know what that means exactly, but my baby got that quan, and he spoiled me riding. Neek then took me on a trip to Paris, and we just moved into this beautiful apartment. I'm on a 37 floor penthouse high rise, downtown Chicago. OK, we here now. Ooh, come in. Smell yummy in here. Hey, girl, you got to fucking really nice, bitch. <laughs> Clearly, you dressed to impress tonight. Remember where you came from, okay, cousin? So now that y'all have moved in together, do you know how crazy my cousin is yet? I you know am how that crazy your crazy. cousin is. <laughs> You're such a chill dude, and that is just such a stretch <laughs> from the bull that my cousin had to deal with. She came from getting her wig snatched to eating lamb. Right. <laughs> All the bull that I went through with Don, and I wasn't even dating a Now I got a real This is what it looks like to have a real how does it look, Ashley? Can you believe nine Mac four year anniversary about to come up? No, I can't believe it. Really? It's been four years? Girl, we've been there since day Literally. two. Which is why it's whack that Terrence isn't invited. For real, like there was a lot of shade thrown. I couldn't believe it. Man was right. Ryan's acting like a different person now. Like, did you see his social media post? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so yesterday, Ryan ends up posting some video with various family members going in on my man. about something that happened a year ago, that he's gonna post something with sneak dissing and slick comments? It's like, get over it, dude. Hey, I ain't know I had fans in the street. Like, he's just so full of and I'm over it. I'm about to walk up in the shop and say what's good. I get my cousin's frustrations with Ryan, but I don't know if this is the right time to check him, girl. Tensions right now are really high between Ryan and Van, and we all know when things ain't going Ryan's way, he like a woman on the rag. I dare Ryan to try me, bitch, when I come into the shop. I dare him to. You like this? I'm so ridiculously happy right now. I can't stop smiling. Thank you. And that's the cargo culture, too. Danielle! <laughs> yes, bitches. Danielle was in LA doing her thing with Katrina. But now, my girl ready to turn up. Hey. hey. Oh my God, girl, you are fly. Hell yeah, I'm here. I'm not about to let some unnamed asshole, <laughs> Ryan, stop me from coming to my cousin's birthday party. I feel like a new woman after leaving LA, and I got zero to give for anyone who's not about me and everything that I have to give. You Listen, I know you pissed at Ryan, but I ain't trying to have no nine mag drama at my mother party. Right, babe? So if you see him, just ignore him. Well, he better just stay the away from me. <laughs> get him for it! Don't fall! Don't fall! Get him for it! That was fun. Girl, who wore it best, Junior or Ryan? They both look like clones to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Ryan. You came up right on time, because right we was Ryan. actually talking about you. Yeah. What I miss? You certainly look like you're having a lot of fun, <laughs> considering your shop is falling apart. I don't know why everybody's tiptoeing around Ryan and acting like sweet. All of us have a problem with how he's handling nine Mac. Always up to some steaming ass bull. He ain't looking at nine Mac's family no more. He's just thinking like, what's best for Ryan? If he thinks that by firing me, I'm just gonna crawl into a little hole, then he's in for a rude awakening. It takes a village, and guess what? The rest of your village ain't really with you the way you think they are, bro. 
girl. Seriously, the rest of your village saying Ryan weak as hell. I just want you to be very clear that everybody is saying this. I'm the only one saying it to your face. You got me up. You know what? Let me do a I gotta do for my that's where you're very oh confused. Ass. It's not just your shop. I ain't got no words for Danielle. You don't work at NAMAG, so what the f you doing talking to me? Like, man, you ruining your cousin birthday party right now. Show me how it four, ain't. Show me how it ain't. Show me three, anybody in this ball. Three, show me it ain't. Yes. I'm glad he's so upset because I'm not. Girl. That's definitely not the time or place. Ma'am. Models, 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 listen for your name because we need four of you for fitting still. Tonight is the night. It's my I Am Danny J fashion show. And it is crazy. I brought in extra racks for clothes. I brought in extra models just in case the bitch want to fall or get sick. No, they can't pick their own order. Oh, my god. Doing it at NIMAG seems like a good idea at first, but it is super cramped in here, and it's a long hike to get over to the runway in the studio next door. I'm so overwhelmed. I need a clone. Can you slow down? Girl, it's too much going on. You got time to take a shot of Hennessy, bitch. You got time to give me a hug. Talk about too much going on. Danielle asked me to help her MC the show tonight, but it looked like keeping her calm gonna be my main job. Bitch, do you slow? <laughs> Damn. Bro. Now you gotta give him a walk. <laughs> you have to ask him that. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Well, you actually want me to walk down the runway in this mother? Like I'm a. Gray gorilla? No, I'm a black gorilla. I'm not a gray gorilla. All right, so models, show's about to start. Come on. What's going on, everybody? Where the f is Ryan? Oh my god. Ryan promised me he'd be here to walk in my fashion show, and he's nowhere to be found. All my models are waiting. The people in the audience are waiting. Like, what the f? Do you know where Ryan is? Have you seen him? I don't know where he is. Probably stressing because Rachel found out about them blog rumors. That's really up. And where's Van? What? What, what? what are you doing? I'm help you find him. Honestly, right. you're just in the way right now. You can't walk out with the cop. I'm gonna take a shot. Do you guys want a shot? Lily! It's a baby shot. You guys are really pissing me off. Danielle's about to do her thing, and it's going down. <laughs> Charmaine, you have to buy me time. I can't find Ryan or Van. Go ahead, go ahead, go out there. I got this, Danielle. Have you seen Dan? Like, this is hey. up. You know what I was trying to do real quick. Can you see my ass or not? What the is she doing? Oh, my God. I'm losing my mind at this point. Ryan was supposed to be in the first scene, and this ain't here? What? Come on. At the front, at the front, at the front, at the front. Danny G. Ryan, where the f have you been? Look, man, I had some going on at home, but I'm here now. Well, you're too late to walk. And so it's like, you know, it is what it is. I'm like in the middle of right now. I'm here? Like, I got the going on, man. I feel like, man, my support should be enough. I don't want to walk. Sorry. I'm going to go sit and finish support. All right. Charmaine, we're good to go. Let's start it up. come a long way this year. After all the things that's been taking place, it does feel great to be supporting one of our own. Oh, my God. Sure, there's been fights and a lot of pain, but there's also a lot of love and support. Through thick and thin, we gotta still be here for one another, and that's what matters the most. Everybody in this shop stands for something, and that's Nine Mag, and we all is one. 
Thank you so much to my team and to the rest of my NIMAC family for being a part of this with me. Thank you. This is Cobra's bag. Yeah. Okay, wait, so I see everything except for the watch. What? There's like no watch. I'm a little concerned right now because the watch that I loaned Cobra the other night for her date. Girl, you look so good. I really like this watch though. This is cute. That watch was a one of a kind vintage that I got from the jeweler. Yeah, she probably got it. Cobra. I was just checking through the bag and I see like you have everything in here, but where's the watch? I don't know what happened to it. I can pay for it. This is just gonna be really bad for me, Cobra, I'm not gonna lie. This is like a vendor that I'm trying to build a relationship with and I can't come back empty handed. I got so drunk, I threw up. I'm like really scared that it might have just fallen off and being like super sick. Because so that's you're saying the right. watch like slipped off? I'm thinking it slipped off because I Did looked everywhere it? in my you... apartment. I feel like y'all can see when she a thief, but she really don't know what happened to the watch. I mean, no, I, had that, I hadn't said one thing that would insinuate that she stole my watch. I ain't never said Cover was a thief, but she do have a history of going missing when she's around. Why would you come here without my glasses? My glasses? Why would you come here without my glasses? You're gonna look like a thief right now. So basically, I don't believe that bitch. Where's the watch? I don't know where it is, dude. Are you a sticky fingers ass call. bitch again? that I don't need added to my life right now. I swear to God. I'm dealing with enough already at this point. I don't want to have to add to this, man. Hubbard, get your bills a bear out of here. Oh, yeah, right? With that stomach, though? I would rather be a big bitch than a fake one. It's a toes. Where's the watch, Since Johnny gave me my job back a few weeks ago, I've been working nonstop. It's your girl Charmaine. Coming up is Future Mask Off, but right now, B.O.B. on GCI. Ah! <laughs> and now I gotta do this photo shoot to promote my very own radio show. So I'ma have my girl Danny J style me for today. Are you excited, bitch? Because I pulled all these looks for you. I am so excited. You already know, girl. I decide it's more like super edgy, that chic. If I'm going to have my picture all over the city of Chicago, I'm going to look fly as bitch. I look like my name is Trixie, and I look like I'm turning tricks on the corner. You look like an expensive Trixie, though. This is just too sexy, Danielle. This is old Charmaine. I'm trying to bring a new Charmaine. You feel me? Like what, Grandma Central? <laughs> Ladylike. I had no in a long time. Professional. Can you see my ass or not? Classy. You got a um, professional and classy. <laughs> I mean, I, Bitch, you got me butt ass naked under a leotard that I can't even snap. So you know what, bitch? Get to snapping. Are you kidding me? Help me out. I'm not trying to Help. tickle your pussy right now. Help me out. Bitch, snap your what? Yikes. Oh my god. Like you don't got two hands to snap your own damn onesie? We're really doing this, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just touched your puss. This is about to look a maze. Let me get some accessories for you. So put these on. take over Chicago in this outfit, okay? I'm about to rock this photo shoot and let the whole city of Chicago know who the f Charmaine is. I roll the dice, yeah, I bet a lot. 
this side right here. Yeah. Now look over. Yeah. Oh, great. Ever since I was a little girl in Louisiana, I knew I was going to shine right. I've had a few bumps in the road, yes, but those challenges taught me to never give up. Oh, we're looking really good. How do you find this cool spot? Google tell you all the tricks and the trades of life. I love it. This is the spot that I would totally put Terrence on. So actually, it wasn't Google that picked out the place. Terrence hit me up, reached out. You know he wanted to apologize about everything he did to my cousin Danielle. And I'm cool with that, because you know, I'm just a big old softie. Like, what's going on? Obviously, relationships are tough. It's about sacrifice and growing and learning. And like, Terrence is the person that I want to do all of that with. I just expected more, but I'm disappointed right now. And he needs to learn to never cross me again. Terrence is going to literally have to prove to me and show me through his actions hey, 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 hey. that you're the man that I know and love and want to be married to. Can we get everybody's attention, please? Danielle Jameson, will you please stand up? Stand up. Stand up, girl. Thank you, thank you. I want to show her a little something tonight. Danielle, this is us at the beginning right here. From high school, college, as, a, as adults, look at us, so happy. The love has been going on for so many years. Oh my God. He, he got me. I know that I'm not always perfect, but um, I will make our life perfect together. I love you, Danielle. And I'm sorry if I ever hurt you. And I want everything with you in our life. Take a look here. Daniel Jameson, I've loved you since I was 16 years old. I want you, and I love you. And will you marry me again? That is my man, and he dug himself out of the grave he created. And I'm sure this won't be the last time that we have an argument, but the wedding is back on. <laughs> hey, the wedding is back on, damn right, because I done already bought my dress and put a down payment on the bachelorette party. I love you. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I do. I know. Oh my God. Let's get some drinks. I guess I owe you a pair of Jordan. I'm gonna link up with y'all. I have to use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I This is one of the best experiences of my life. Hey, family. Hey. How are you guys? Have you ever met me tomorrow? No, I haven't. Nice to meet you. <laughs> he looks just like you. <laughs> So are you guys excited? Of course. Yeah. Surprise, Charmaine. You might know about this proposal trip, but you did not know about Aunt Glenda, Uncle Mike, and Neek's mom being here. Neek has gone all out for this. I mean, we were like, so how are you about to do this? He was like, I got it, I got it, don't worry about it. I'm gonna pet the little baby tigers. Everybody knows, everybody in the house knows okay. that we're here today okay. for the proposal. Yeah. Except everybody Charmaine. but Charmaine. Right, exactly, <laughs> how it's supposed to be. And it's crazy because Neek is actually her first real serious relationship. She never brought anybody home before, but. Oh, that, Neek's the first? The Neek's first the first. first. Wow, that's, that's really how you know it's real. Home. Yeah. <laughs> she never had the nerve to bring anybody right. home. <laughs> so, are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's get engaged. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, what's over here? Some little alligators in there, nothing bad. 
This is an episode of Fear Factor. <laughs> we sure hope not. This is not meant to scare you. This is not meant to be outrageous. Well, it is outrageous, but it's not fearful. It's a ooh and ah moment. That's all. Coming up any minute. Charmaine J. Walker, you've been the love of my life since I laid my eyes on you. <laughs> and through our relationship, I've learned about dedication, being your best friend, commitment, <laughs> um, true love. I love you for the rest of my life. Oh, God. <laughs> and I want to make it official right here. So Charmaine J. Walker, would you be my Miss Bay? Would you marry me? Just so happy that Neek planned this beautiful engagement with my parents involved. That means everything to me. And for him to propose to me and include everyone that loves me and everyone that I love, that just makes me, it just makes me love him even more. Thank you guys for the people that knew for keeping a secret. Oh my God, did all y'all know? Yeah. <laughs> I love all you guys and I appreciate everyone. I just have to give myself a nice little hug because me and Neek pulled this off, okay? Congratulations. <laughs> oh my God. I'm happy that Neek is able to put behind who Charmaine used to be and take her for who she's becoming. I mean, this shows us that we all are capable of forgiveness and growth. Charmaine Bay to B is going down. Thank you for saying yes. I'm gonna make sure I make you happy and treat you with all respect that you deserve. Let's get it. Maybe we can end it in a nice, family-loving group hug. All right. Bring it in. Hey everyone, it's your fave Charmaine, and for more on Black and Crew Chicago, subscribe to the BH1 YouTube channel.